Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this my square root problem? From here, we start from the top here. And what we have there, which is 4 raised to the power 4, we can equally write this as 4 raised to the power 2 times 4 raised to the power 2. From the law of indices there, that's the same thing as 4 raised to the power 2 plus 2, which is also 4. And from here, this same thing as 4 is to the power 2, that's 4 times 4, which is 16, then times 16. And this gives us 256 from here. So here, these two together is 256. And from here, what we have cannot be written as square root of 2 raised to the power 6. Then raised to the power 2, raised to the power 1, which is raised to the power 256. And uh, next, we have 1 raised to the power 256. And 1 raised to the power 256 will still be 1. So when 1 keep on multiplying itself, we still have 1. And from here, what we will left will now be square root of 2 raised to the power 6 raised to the power 2, then raised to the power 1. And 2 raised to the power 1 is t2. So then we have this to be equal to square root of 2 raised to the power 6, then raised to the power 2. Then 2 raised to the power 6 here, simply 6 times 6, which is 36. And from here, we have square root of 2 raised to the power 36. And from the law of indices, when we have square root of a, <coughs> we can equally write this as a raised to the power half. So when we apply this here, so this square root is raised to the power half, and this will give us square I mean 2 raised to the power 36 now, which is raised to the power half. And uh, from the law of uh, indices, as well, this power multiplies, and we can say 2 here 1, and uh, 2 in 36, that's uh, 18. And what we have now will be 2 raised to the power 18. And also, we can write this again from the law of uh, indices, and this will be 2 raised to the power 9 plus 9. That's, and when we separate it, this 2 raised to the power 9 times 2 raised to the power 9. So that's all we have. Then 2 raised to the power 9 is 512. So we have 512 times 512. Then, from here, we can multiply this and we write this as 500 plus 12. Then multiply by, also here we have 500 plus 12. And the next step, when we expand 500 times 500, we have 250,000 there. So this gives us 250,000. Then plus <coughs> 500 times 12, that gives us 6,000. Then plus also 12 times 500, that's also 6,000. Then plus 12 times 12, that gives us 144. Then Next step we have 250,000 now plus here give us 12,000 then plus 144 that's 12,144 here then when we add this to 250,000 this give us 262,000 so we have 262,144 and from here, this is what we have from the given uh, problem. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to uh, subscribe for more exciting videos. And uh, turn on the notification bell. Share this video and give it a thumbs up. Also, if you have a comment, put it in the comment section. See you in the next class. And bye for now.